was that it was, and for our viewers, it was fun watching them struggle. Oh, they yeah. were squirming, weren't they? We, was, we yeah, appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. Now, the, you are the Scouser, of course, Debbie. I am, that's right. <laughs> and did, where did you go to university? In Liverpool? Yeah, yeah. I, w I went to Liverpool and that's really where all the, the dictionaries and things came from because I, I studied French and German and I still keep up quite a keen interest in that. Oh, really? But, of course, the language thing came, came in when, when Paul and I met because I couldn't understand a blooming word he said. <laughs> that's oh, actually I'm, true. I'm getting, I'm getting back a lot of viewers have said the same, Debbie. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. But the, how did you talk in those days, Paul? I, well, I must be honest, one of the clues there was the Channel 4 Perspex yeah. thing, which all the staff who were present on the launch night of Channel 4 were given as, as a gift. And I had the great honour to be asked to be the first voice in Channel 4 and launch the station. But when I listen back to it now, it's horrible. It's like Tom Conti on speed. Tom Conti sounds like the Queen now, doesn't he? So, eh, eh, ha, ha, ha. And they had actually, during a trail-making session, one of the producers said to me, would you at least sound as if you'd seen an English missionary once in your life? <laughs> so instead of going, hello, it's a great pleasure to be able to say to you, welcome to Channel 4, it's now, hello, it's a awfully great pleasure to say welcome to Channel 4. And that's how I sounded in 19... It's tragic. It's, it's, it's tragic. tragic. So we're, we more or less understand each other now. You <laughs> well, you know, you've worked out certain ways to communicate, because you have... Two small children. <laughs> <laughs> They're adopted. <laughs> oh, we don't do stuff like that. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I've been talking to each other. No. Uh, no. Um, yes, we have. We've got two uh, children. You saw Emily in one of the pictures, and we've mm -hmm. got a recent arrival who's seven months old, Louisa. Right. Yeah. Tell the saga of the flowers, because that is such a lovely story. Oh, no. I, I read. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, yes, no. yes. Well, you know how men are really keen on <sighs> commitment. Well, we went out together for quite a while and um, Paul was very keen on, yes, yes, I do really want to marry you. And I said, well, that's nice, dear. When? And he go, but why do you need to know when? So we had one of these ongoing situations where it went on a bit and, and so we, we had to speed it up a bit. And so we had a bit of a break. And we Paul didn't have to speed it up. You wanted to speed it up. <laughs> <laughs> no arguing, please. Sorry. <laughs> And uh, anyway, Paul, Paul, was down, Paul was down for a visit, and funnily enough, that day when he was down for a visit, when we weren't actually seeing each other, when we decided that it was all off, a beautiful bouquet of flowers arrived. And it said, thanks for a wonderful evening. Lots of love and kisses, Tony. <laughs> funny that, the way it arrived mm. that day. <laughs> yeah. And um, <laughs> so... <laughs> Oh, and I fell for it, hook, line, and <laughs> lick and sink it. <laughs> Who's Tony? And it, he's just somebody at the tennis club. No, who is he? What does he look like? Well, he's pretty good looking, and he's got lots of money, and he's... Uh, uh, and we were engaged pretty quickly. We were. Yeah. <laughs> good idea. Brilliant. That was one That's of the most successful story. ploys of all time. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Debbie. Um, and here is the Through the Keyhole Key for you both. Oh, wonderful. Thank you very much. Oh, as lovely. our thank token of much. saying thank you both for being with us. Beautiful. Thank you. Debbie Greenwood, Paul Coyer, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.